Now, should the royals speak out or keep quiet when it comes to Kate's health? 020 7862 2222. Tell us what you think. The royal couple were spotted out and about in Windsor over the weekend for the first time since Kate's surgery, reportedly looking happy, relaxed, and healthy at a farm shop, although it wasn't caught on camera. Meanwhile, a source close to the prince and princess has said Kate will return to duties after the Easter break and could also open up about her recovery and what was wrong with her to end the wild rumours. But do we have a right? to know anything in the first place or should we say look it's whoever you are whether you're the queen or you know dustman or a duke you've got a right to privacy on your health what do you think wilfred well the first thing i would say who whoever's doing your pr or your comms should be sacked because this has been a disaster in terms of communications and i think this question about where does private and public end is a really really important question because i think for case and william what they mean by privacy is not necessarily what we mean as the people are paying for them. And I get the sense that actually they are just doing a job rather than loving the job that they do. Because when you love the job that you do, you communicate very, very differently. I would like to know more. I think the mistake they've made is that she should have taken the lead from the king and King Charles being open about what it is mm. rather than leaving this air of mystery. And S then Susan is shaking her head. I find this very difficult for many reasons. Um, I think Kate has told people that she had abdominal surgery. And she told people that she wanted some time and would be back after Easter. It's not she hasn't said anything. She hasn't said she's indisposed. Now, I'm not married to a member of the royal family, but I am married Always. to a national... I am married to a national treasure. Oh, I am yeah. married to a national treasure. You're married to certain royalty. <laughs> and, it is and five years... virtually at that level. Well, yeah. you know, we, that, 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 <laughs> yeah. that, that's, a, that's a point for discussion itself. <laughs> but, but I'm married to Noddy Holder. And five years ago, uh, Noddy Holder was diagnosed with... Um, esophageal cancer and was given six months to live. And we decided as a family to keep that very, very private. Now he's doing well and we decided to come out and speak about it only just before Christmas. We left it five years. Mm. Now in that time, I have therefore seen just at my level of married to national treasure status, which is nothing like what must happen in the royal family, how difficult it is to do that. And I also know why we did that. OK, why did you keep it quiet? We kept it quiet because we had no idea what was going to happen. We would find the intrusion and the focus and the questions very difficult to deal with. And it would be me dealing with that a lot rather than that I could protect Noddy from that quite a bit, I suppose. But even so, we found it very difficult. We, we, there, were, there, were, there are very close members of family we didn't tell. There are very, very mm. close friends. I will never apologise to the people we didn't tell. Mm. I will only apologise to the people we did. But we could through, understand... Who went through a very traumatic but period. But we could understand now, can you I, can doing that. Say, but once we've come out, I, it, I, it's proved to me we were right to keep it quiet. Really? And I'll tell you why. Go on. We were, I have been inundated with people asking me questions, wanting to know more information, wanting to know about the treatment, and I have, as much as I possibly can, answered every single question. Mm. Now, if you're Kate at that level, I think, I think you're wrong about uh, how much they kind of get out of what the job they do. I, I think they do have a very great sense of duty and I think they enjoy a lot of what they do. But the sense of duty she would feel on having to respond to that would be colossal. I am positive, at what, and I have no idea what, 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 what she's got and what, what she's been going through, but whatever it is, I am positive that at a point in the future where she has gone through enough of the recovery that she feels able, mm. she will address that. She mm. will be a but champion for whatever, say, whatever it is. Go, go she, okay. will, she will the, do the, that. The problem that we have is that there's a lot of mystery there surrounding is. this, and this is why they need to sort of deal with it. You know, how do you explain this ambulance, for example, that's driving? But you're just speaking. Again. No, but there was okay. an ambulance. Okay. You know. All right. Okay. But can I just say, you do know she had abdominal surgery. We don't know because once yes, we do. She's confirmed she did, that she did have abdominal surgery. If you know, she yeah. rang you up tomorrow, Wilfred, yeah. and told you exactly no. what it is, she's con how would that help you? And no. how would it help her? No. What I'm trying to say is that you know, and I don't want to disrespect Noddy. There are certain people whose their, 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 their status is so high that we, as a public, need to know a lot more. So your status means you forego all right no, to I'm private say, medical information. No, I'm That's not saying, clearly I, wrong. No, I'm not saying you forego it, but, but there is an expectation that needs to be met. Where well, actually, that expect, I don't think, I the don't think this mystery is going we'll to help them the now calls. or in the future. I, I just think, think the it's going to be damaging. I think you'll find the public will call in and 
I would bet you now, most people call in and say, we don't want to know. We just want it to get better. You might be... Time right, will be right, enough. Let's see, let's see what it's Babs is. It's the press going Bab on here. Babs is in Exeter in beautiful Devon. Hi, Babs. Hello. Hello. Now, Good you can morning. prove Susan wrong or right here. Or do you think she should say what's wrong with her? No, I don't. Um, I'm ex-forces, so it comes with the territory. I'm also a royalist. But, but I just think that some of us who have medical knowledge immediately thought she'd had a hysterectomy. And, and when I had my hysterectomy, I was off work for three months. But she's a relatively young woman, and it comes with an emotional, um, emotional yeah. uh, problem uh, when they're moving through life and realizing that. But, but this um, this um, sp constant speculation, I think, is just ridiculous, you know. And if she was emotional before, wasn't emotional before, she is now. And I think I don't really want to know. You know, they'll tell us when they're ready or if they're ready. Um, I just think that. I think it would be, I think she must be suffering so much because there's speculation about everything. And I just think, and when I talk to people, I say, where did you hear that? And they say, oh, well, it's common knowledge. Well, it's not common knowledge. No, I know. No, it's it's, well, ridiculous. that may strengthen Wilfred's argument. Now, I, I, I try to stay off all of this kind of Facebook But it pages doesn't matter and, what you tell yeah. people. It's no, never no, enough. No, but, they but, always but, think there's something but, but, more. But, but, they but, but, always but, think there's something more. Your argument is that you create this void. Is that no, right? See, and so, therefore, it's the, the, the speculation, the things that I've heard, it's, it's got to the point but, of absolute madness. why on earth are you reading it? Why no, are you because, taking any notes? Because what it does... She's had abdominal surgery. It's quite clear. Listen... What the, else do you need to know? The, the, the point is, the reason why we're discussing this now yeah. is because there's a lot of interest of where where is Kate? What has happened to us? You know, so we can't pretend that actually she should be allowed to do things and privately. And they put out a faked photo as well. Uh, pardon? They put out a fake and, photo. And they put out a fake photo. So what it's what it does is just created more and more mystery. So therefore, you then start thinking, is there something else going on that we don't well, know about? Well, you might be thinking that. I'm not thinking mm. that. Well, I also think the hysteria of the photo is completely ridiculous. Mm. Uh, if it is slightly retouched, if they have kind of done certain things, I think they think when when Tony Blair had... I think a, a problem with his heart, which was called tachyo ventricular mm. hypo something. Should he have told us that? No. No. Okay. No. Even though he's prime minister. No. I think uh, really? not. Not if it's, if he's incapacitated and, and not kind of taking any decisions, we probably should know that. But other than that, no. I think you have to. You cannot tell people that they have to tell you every single thing but about when their you get private certain, medical... When you're at a certain level, you don't have it's not the same about, rights. No, it's not about being at a certain level. It is. She's at a certain level that she... But you, you keep saying this as though you don't know anything, as though she's just said, I'm indisposed and not appeared for... She hasn't. George VI she's told you. George VI was not even told himself yes, that he was ill. Yes, they operated him on Buckingham Palace and he nobody did, he did, well, knew. Yeah, but that, that doesn't mean that it's the right thing. Yeah. Margaret in Buckinghamshire, hi. Oh, Hello. Do you agree that we just shouldn't really know anything more than we know at the moment? No, I don't agree. And the reason I don't agree is that nobody has brought up the subject of the children. Perhaps Kate has thought, I don't want it out there yet because of my children. If they go to school and their friends are talking about it, um, it would be very difficult for them to perhaps to deal with. We don't know what's going on, and quite frankly, I don't want to know. I know that she's been ill, had an operation, and I wish her well. And to listen to people's right to know, it makes me quite mad, because when I was in hospital, that my children were never told what exactly was wrong. And I think that this should apply, um, yeah. and people should think more about that. What about Wilfred's argument that if, if you don't say anything, when it's a member of the royal family, you get this frenzy of crazy speculation? speculation. Well, the crazy speculation can go on, but they're protecting, um, they're protecting their children. Thank you, and thank I you. And I come back to that. Thank I you, think Margaret, so much. Long right. term, this will be there damaging for them, I think. Because right. they, they were seen to be not honest, not upfront. And I think that's what She's you need to be thinking about. Susan well. said everyone would agree with her, and everyone mm. just did. Mm. What about that? Although, yeah. Okay, there we go. Thanks for your calls. Alexis, what's going on?